Alrighty y'all, so this is skill 10, real time resilience, referred to as RTR. This skill is designed for you to use in the heat of the moment and counterproductive thoughts. So let's dive in. Okay, so RTR is represented by the boxing glove because we're fighting counterproductive thinking and this enables us to have greater concentration and focus on the task at hand. Just like the ATC model, RTR is built off of other skills that you've already learned. The bottom line up front, real-time resilience helps build optimism. It's an internal skill used to challenge your own thinking and it helps fight back against counterproductive thoughts with evidence, thinking optimistically and putting the situation in perspective. So like I said, it's, it's challenging your counterproductive thoughts. This is a skill to get back into the game when your thoughts are interfering with the task at hand. This skill is used to lower your anxiety, anger, or other strong emotions just enough so that you can perform under the tough circumstances. And again, it's an internal skill to challenge your own counterproductive thinking. It's not to argue back against others. This is so you can be on top of your game mentally. So just like any other skill, this skill takes practice. And you're, you'll see a demonstration here shortly. But some people might find it helpful to do deliberate breathing before RTR in order to help lower your anxiety even further. You're going to use evidence, optimism, and PIP as strategies to challenge your counterproductive thoughts that are preventing you from getting the job done and staying focused. So for example, let's say the situation is you're about to teach MRT, the Master Resiliency Training, for the first time. Some of the counterproductive thoughts may look like this. Counterproductive thought one, I'm not prepared to teach today's MRT skill. The RTR response using evidence strategy would be, that's not true because I spent a couple hours reviewing the material for today and practiced the practical exercises. Counterproductive thought number two, the participants won't understand any of the material. Your RTR response for optimism strategy would be, the participants might not know how to use this particular skill immediately, but when they understand most of the material with practice. Counterproductive thought three, the participants will ask me questions I can't answer. RTR response using the strategy of PIP. If that happens, I'll admit that I don't know, and I can get back to them with an the answer as soon as we have our next lesson. Now, some strategies might come easier than the others to you, so I encourage you to just try all three to see which works best for you and ensure that you have a variety of tools to use when you come to these heat-of-the-moment counter counterproductive thinking. Okay, so demonstration time. At this time, when I say go, I want you to press pause on this video and go click on the RTR demo video listed under the Real-Time Resilience Material tab. So go ahead. Click pause and go out to the video. Okay, so welcome back. Now, hopefully that demonstration gives you a better idea of what RTR looks like. So think about three words that capture what you just saw in that demo video. Do any of those words highlight that RTR builds confidence, helps you to calm down and increase focus? The importance of putting it into your own words and finding words that best describe it to yourself is so that it, it paints the overall picture you understand in your own terms, and this better helps you grasp the skill. So sometimes when learning and practicing RTR, there's four common mistakes people tend to make. And as you see, those four are listed here. So, Let's go back to the teaching MRT for the first time example. Counterproductive thought one, I'm not prepared to teach today's MRT unit or skill. The pitfall response of dismissing the grain of truth would look like, I'm totally prepared. Counterproductive thought two, the participants won't understand any of the material. The pit, pitfall response of minimizing the situation, who cares if they don't understand? Counterproductive thought three, the participants will ask me questions I can't answer. 
A pitfall response, rationalizing or excusing one's contribution to the problem. That's because the materials I was given aren't very good. And counterproductive thought number four. I'm going to blow this presentation. A weak response is no, my pre preparation was fine. Pitfalls are problematic because they keep us from challenging the counterproductive thoughts that we have. Weak responses are responses that are vague and they lack concrete data. In general, although not pitfalls necessarily, they're weak and can be made stronger by adding more specific information to the response. Use a gut check where we feel the power of the response in our bodies to determine whether or not you're falling into a pitfall. Sometimes what may sound like a pitfall to others passes the gut test for you using the skill. So one of the easiest ways to start practicing the skill of RTR is first by using specific sentences to frame the RTR responses. These sentence starters help structure the response so that it's effective and not a pitfall or a weak response. These sentence starters are tools to effectively use the strategies of evidence, optimism, and PIP. So let's review each of these three strategies and I'll give you an example of each. So the task at hand is this. I made a decision that negatively affects my soldiers and now I have to lead a patrol. First counterproductive thought. They will never trust me again. The RTR response for evidence would be, that's not completely true because I acted quickly once I realized my error. I took responsibility and I demonstrated leadership by correcting the situation. Counterproductive thought number two. My CO will think I'm useless. The RTR response utilizing optimism. A more optimistic way of seeing this is that he'll understand that I corrected the situation and will not make the mistake again. And counterproductive thought number three. I'm never going to get promoted. RTR response using PIP sentence starter would be the most likely implication is that I'll need to work extra hard to solidify my reputation and I can talk with my first sergeant to get his advice. So as you can see, these sentence starters help structure our thinking so that we can craft effective RTR responses. So when do we use RTR? Here's some examples of the situations when you would use it. I think a lot of us can uh, relate to the last one living here in Atlanta about road rage. But use this skill when you have heat of the moment thoughts or your internal radio station, so to speak, is preventing you from performing your best when dealing with an immediate task. Here we see the key principles of RTR. I want you to remember that Focus on accuracy, not necessarily speed. And again, it takes practice over and over rehearsing this skill. It's a learning curve. Pitfalls are common as you practice and learn the process of RTR. Do over when you hear a pitfall, pause and generate a stronger response by utilizing the strategies with those sentence starters. And remember, optimism is the primary target of RTR. One thing I'll leave you with to remember when it comes to the speed that you only go or should go as fast as you can and as slow as you need to. So I want to give you another example of RTR and practice that and you can find this practical example um, listed under the RTR tab. So there's a situation where counterproductive thoughts get in the way. An example is my CEO just cheered me out and now I'm on my way home. I don't want to lose my cool with my family. My first counterproductive thought, my CEO has it in for me. I can practice real-time resilience using the evidence strategy by he doesn't have it in for me, he just lost his temper, yesterday he gave me props in front of the whole unit. Another kind of uh, counterproductive thought would be my fellow soldiers don't respect me. I practice real-time resilience, again using evidence, by, that's not true, because several guys come to me for advice, from dealing with my family members to keeping sane in the army. Another counterproductive thought is, my CEO won't trust me with important jobs anymore. 
utilizing RCR PIP, well, that'll mean less work. That's a good thing. The most likely implication is that he'll be upset for a little while, but I'm one of the most experienced leaders in the unit, and I'll earn his trust back. And the last one, I'm not army material. Utilizing RTR with optimism, I'm an army material person. Even though I have a lot to learn, I'm good at this. And if you're a visual person, again, go look at the practical example exercise listed on the Google Classrooms page, and this will give you a better idea of how to do and conduct your assignment. So applying RTR, when do you think RTR will be particularly helpful to you as a leader and as a family member or whatever your role may be in a household? When would you not want to use real-time resilience? You can also use mental games before you're completely comfortable with the skill of real-time resilience. However, if counterproductive thoughts keep coming back when you're utilizing mental games, then you need to turn to RTR. Remember that RTR fights the counterproductive thoughts, whereas mental games only serves as a distraction from them. You may not want to use RTR if you need to address something more thoroughly or if an issue keeps coming back. In those situations, other skills will be necessary, such as problem solving or detecting icebergs. And if you're interested in those, I can send you some material and teach you those on the side. Um, it wasn't part of this course, and I apologize for that. Uh, we only had so many days to squeeze these skills in. But remember that real-time resilience is used when there's little time, and you need to focus on the task immediately. You need to bounce back very quickly. So here's our check on learning. What is this skill? When do you use it? And how do you use it? If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. If not, at this time, go ahead and complete your assignment.